Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is June the 1st, 2016. It was on this day in 1927 when a magnitude 8 struck New Jersey. This was the highest intensity earthquake ever observed in the state. Three shocks were felt along the coast from Sandy Hook to Tom's River. Several chimneys fell, plaster cracked, and items were thrown from shelves. The felt area extended over approximately 3,011 square miles. Today is known as Flip a Coin and Dare Day. All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. As of 6.09 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in only 172 earthquakes. For historical reference, a year ago today, we clocked in 290 earthquakes. The strongest to strike the planet then was a series of powerful quakes that struck just off the coast of Oregon. These were a 5.9, a 5.8, and a 5.4. Since our previous video, which was posted on Saturday, May the 8th, we have experienced interesting movement along nearly every tectonic plate around the globe. The strongest earthquake experience up until today was a 6.4 that struck yesterday in Taiwan. Fortunately, no reports of damage or injury have been made. Interestingly enough though, Taiwan's Central Weather Bureau put the magnitude at a 7.2. Hmm. In total, we have had 12 earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 5 range. The most noteworthy includes a 5.7 that hit Alaska yesterday, a 5.7 that hit New Zealand on Monday, May the 30th, and finally a 5.3 that hit Algeria on Sunday, May the 29th. This quake was fairly destructive in that at least 28 people were injured, including three who were left in serious condition. Algeria's press agency said the three suffered from fractures of lower limbs and they were evacuated to a nearby hospital. The quake, which occurred before 1 a.m., had a depth of 7.5 miles. The Mediterranean region, to which Algeria belongs, has been seismically active for decades, with a number of earthquakes having resulted in tsunamis. The North African nation experienced one of the deadliest quakes in 2003 that struck the capital and nearby towns, killing more than 530 and injuring nearly 5,000 others. We have registered 44 quakes that fell within the magnitude 4 range. This boils down to roughly 15 per day. This is not only above average, but a 29% increase over what we have experienced just last week. We have also experienced continued movement along the New Madrid seismic zone with several earthquakes, a 2.1 and a 1.5 hitting Missouri, and parts of Tennessee experiencing earthquakes as well. This includes a 1.6 in Ridgely. Along the eastern limb of the North American Craton, we have experienced movement. In fact, Littleton, New Hampshire registered a rare 2.0 just yesterday. It's very interesting. Finally, we experienced a rather rare earthquake in Texas on Sunday. This was a 2.9 that struck Snyder. Looking at today's events, we see the strongest experienced was a 6.5 that just struck Indonesia moments ago. Details are limited at this point in time, but we do know that this quake hit the western Indonesian island of Sumatra, and the epicenter was roughly 25 miles from the coast. If you are interested in learning more, we'll keep you posted on conditions via our Facebook site and in upcoming videos. We'll follow this powerful earthquake up with a 5.4 that hit New Zealand, a 5.1 and a 4.4 that hit Peru, and a 5.1 that struck Papua New Guinea. In total, we have clocked in only 13 earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 4 scale. Mexico registered 4, two 4.9s, a 4.3, and a 4.2, which all struck just off the coast. Ecuador clocked in a 4.8, and South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands registered a 4.7. Indonesia was shaken by a 4.6 today, and our pals in Afghanistan experienced a 4.2. The remaining earthquakes struck, for the most part, locations here in the states. We'll start with Hawaii, which has three on the books, these being a 2.5, a 2.1, and a 1.0. Washington has clocked in seven earthquakes today. The strongest to hit was a 1.2 that struck Port Ludlow. The average magnitude for these quakes is only 0.7. Over the past four days, the Evergreen State has experienced well over 38 earthquakes in total. Wow. Oregon has been incredibly active with four earthquakes striking today, the strongest experience being a 3.8 that was registered a few hours ago in Lakeview. 
Speaking of which, 80% of Oregon's earthquakes were experienced in this location today. Anyways, California has experienced 71. The strongest to hit was a 2.6 in Boonville. Swarm activity is limited to the usual locations. This includes Cobb with 12 and the geysers with 14 earthquakes. Speaking of the geysers, I think you will find it interesting to know that this area registered a rather potent 3.1 just yesterday. Nevada has clocked in only 9 today. The strongest experienced was only a 1.1 in Goldfield. Montana has registered 2, these being a 1.1 in West Yellowstone and a 0.9 in Helena West Side. Utah has clocked in 4, the strongest being a 1.8 in Oakley. We follow that up with a 1.5 in East Carbon City, a 1.4 in Enterprise, and a 0.7 in Cedar City. Wyoming has experienced 1, this was a minor 0.8 in Jackson. Oklahoma has clocked in 4, all of which struck Blackwell. This was a 2.9, a 2.8, a 2.4, and a 2.3. If you assumed this was fracking related, you would most likely be correct. The closest well to the epicenter for these quakes is only a little more than half a mile away. Kansas made the books today with a 3.1 that struck Anthony. This earthquake also struck just a little more than half a mile away from a hydraulic fracturing well. The New Madrid seismic fault experienced movement today as well. This via a 1.5 in Littleborn, Missouri and a 2.1 in Ridgely, Tennessee. Along the North American Craton, we experienced a rather unusual and rare 2.2 in Rockport, Mass. Finally, our Canadian neighbors to the north experienced multiple earthquakes today, the strongest being a 1.9 and a 1.8 that hit Princeton. So there you have it, folks. This has shaped up to be an incredibly active week with unusual earthquakes taking place around the globe. With conditions being as they are, each day definitely brings with it a bit of uncertainty and anticipation. We have said it before, and I'll say it now. These are indeed interesting times. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like the chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Guys, stay safe. Have a great night. Hoorah!